Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? Welcome back to Hand in Hand Together. So um, after the uh, conversations that started after my last chatty video about uh, men's mental health and our critical voices and how tough we find it to be vulnerable and you know that it's really important for us to speak up, um, it, it kind of got me thinking really and and um, this what I want to talk about today is a is a topic that I feel was desperately need to be spoken about directly connected to the last video um, but lots of people don't and lots of people in my position don't because they're scared of repercussions or um, you know losing losing their their jobs or their careers and stuff um, so there's some amazing work being done out there at the moment with raising awareness of mental health in general and you know men's mental health is becoming more and more put out there. Do you know I mean? We've got the Royal Family on the case, we've got famous people really, really pushing for awareness to to be more out there, yeah, to, to try and encourage people to put their hands up if they're struggling in life and ask for help. Yeah, which is amazing and it's needed. Uh, and, and long may you know these people with influence carry on doing it. Now the problem with that is our mental health services are in a pickle and have been crumbling for the last 20 years. Um, so, you know, they, they weren't fit for purpose for the people that were already reaching out. Um, so we've got all this extra building of awareness and, and uh, getting everybody to reach out and ask for help and our mental health teams, they couldn't provide a, a, you know, a half decent service beforehand. So now, <clears throat> it's even harder for people to get mental health help from mental health teams like statutory uh, organisations. Um, <clears throat> and you know some of the stories I've heard about people's experience of mental health teams would bring a tear to your eye. Do you know what I mean? The most vulnerable people in our in our country being told your needs are too high, uh, we can't work with you. Your needs are too low, sorry, we can't work with you. Uh, sorry you swore at me, uh, I can't work with you. Sorry you missed you missed two appointments um, because of your mental health condition. Sorry, we're going to close you off. And, and stories like that, and, and not just the odd one, too, too many to mention. And it scares the life out of me that our mental health services have such a, a small criteria of the people with mental health conditions. Uh, and, and the problem is they don't redirect to other places. Um, they just give you that information. Sorry, we can't work with you. Uh, and everything's time limited. Do you know what I mean? Yep, yeah, come and work with us and we'll give you six sessions. Um, and the amount of people that I've come across over the years whose six sessions have made their mental health worse because it's very difficult to get to approach, understand, work through, put skills in place to, to you know, carry on into the rest of your life in six sessions. It's like virtually impossible. So our mental health services aren't fit for purpose at the moment. Um, and, uh, you know, so all these people shouting out for, for raise awareness, carry on, but also what I need people to do who have influence, and unfortunately I'm not one of them, um, is to get onto the governments to provide better services for some of the most vulnerable people in our country. Um, I think it's, uh, um, you know, a crying shame that year after year for the last 20 years, and probably before that, but I've only been working in mental health for 20 years, um, the budgets have cut and cut and cut and cut, which has left the resources and the mental health teams just on a knife edge. Um, and, and what happens is they then can't provide all the services that they should be providing. Um, so then all your good staff get really disheartened. You know what I mean? The staff that are in there to help people, to make a difference, they get disheartened and they move on because they're not allowed to do their job. You know, the job that they you know it's their passion and their purpose in life to help vulnerable people and they can't do it so a lot of the good staff leave mental health teams to go elsewhere which means you're left with the core of disheartened staff and i know that's not all of you i mean i know some people with mental health teams do amazing jobs um i'm talking about my experience and the experience of my clients and what i see and what i understand okay is you're left with very disheartened, unmotivated members of staff at all levels who can't do their job. 
uh, who aren't allowed to do their job. So the government uh, really, really need to step in here. Do you know what I mean? We've been in a pandemic for 12 months and mental health in this country has gone through the roof for all sexes, all races, do you know what I mean? Um, so if the government doesn't get a handle on this and, and step in and start making uh, changes to our statutory mental health services, it, it's going to cause a huge problem down the line. Um, you know, because not everyone has the, uh, you know, if you're if you're deeply embedded in a in you know a mental health issue, you know, not everyone's got the foresight to go right. Oh, okay, the mental health team are making me worse. The mental health team can't offer me what I need. Let's try and look elsewhere. Um, they haven't, so people become isolated and it becomes worse and worse and worse. So, you know, this is a shout out for people with influence. If you know anyone who's watching this who's got some influence, get them to carry on with the awareness, but get them to understand that that's only half the problem. Yeah, the other half of the problem is there isn't the support for the people, um, not from the statutory uh, agencies. Okay, so, but there is, and in, Everywhere, I mean, Ashford, where I live, there's there's lots and lots of little charities and little community uh, interest companies that are doing some amazing work to help vulnerable people. Um, and mental health teams won't always pass on this information to you uh, and normal doctors because they're a little bit precious. Do you know what I mean? And you know, mental health teams, in my experience, it's their way or the highway with other professionals like myself and with clients. Um, so you know, you have to go looking. So, <clears throat> you know, again, the last message about the lads um, being able to speak up was to everybody. So it was it was to the lads and it was about people around them, your friends and your family and your colleagues and stuff. <coughs> um, to be aware that there are other ways, yeah? Um, you know, there are other organisations out there that can help you for longer than six weeks or that can be flexible to your needs and listen to what you want rather than telling you uh, what you want and what's best for you, okay? So, um, you know, even if you're watching this and you don't suffer with mental health, take it on board. Because if you come across someone that's really, really struggling, you know, give them the advice that there's other ways of getting support out there, yeah? Because, um, um, you know, people need it. And in this time, I think, you know, the last 12 months has really, really shown the dire need in this country for more mental health support out there for people, but openly and people working together, you know, not against each other. It's not a competition. You know, our project that we run here isn't in competition with anybody else. So I mean, we refer here, we refer there, and that's how it should work. It's not about uh, the organisations or the charities, it's about the people that we're supporting. So, you know, friends and family, become aware of the people around you. If you're suffering yourself, you know, tell people, um, you know, one thing that's happened over the last year is I feel like the community's become a little bit closer. Um, now, you know, lots of people and family and community and friends, they haven't got the skills to help you with the, the, the mental health issues, but they can grow the knowledge on, on how they can support you or how you can kind of reach out and, and support them, do you know what I mean? So just because one door gets shut, don't let that stop you from looking for others, okay? So this is a bit of a double header really, okay? Um, governments and people in influence start shouting as loud as you are about awareness about the provision of mental health services in this country for the most vulnerable people in our world, yeah? Because if you don't, it's gonna come back and kick you in the arse, all right? And just because politicians only live four years at a time, I don't, I don't really care. Do you know what I mean? You have a wider responsibility. So if you have any influence over anything, speak up, okay? Because um, they don't watch my videos, but someone might know someone who knows someone who knows someone who they may well listen to. So let's get out there, yeah? Awareness is great and needs to happen because people need to be able to feel like they can speak up. But our services need to be more available and we need to be working more together, okay? Uh, the other side of this is um, mental health teams and doctors aren't your only resource of support if you're struggling with mental health, yeah? So, you know, spread the news, whether you suffer or not, that there's more out there 
okay? There's more available. Look for local small charities that are working with mental health, yeah? Ask people, you have a right um, as a family member, as a friend, as someone who's struggling with mental health, to ask questions, okay? And if people push you away, go ask someone else, yeah? Keep asking. If you feel like you're struggling, ask, 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 okay? Um, don't give up, all right? We need to pull together as communities and a country to um, protect the most vulnerable people in it, yeah? Um, there's not many people I don't know who haven't suffered with their mental health at some point in their life. You know, we all do, uh, and it has various levels to it, all right? So we can all have a slight understanding of when things are a bit shit for us, okay? So don't dismiss it. Let's kind of work together um, and let's try and use the awareness that has grown of mental health in this country to dictate a growth in our services for people who are struggling, all right? So I know it's a tough topic, um, but I think it needs to be said, all right? Our mental health services are crumbling, but the amount of small charities that are helping the most vulnerable are growing, okay? So they, that is not our only option. Um, they think they are, but they're not, okay? So speak to people, spread the knowledge wherever you are in this country. Do you know what I mean? I only know the little projects here, but I know they're everywhere, all right? Um, support people to find something different something that works for them, something that's going to support them and not make them feel worse, all right? So if you've got any experience of this, experience of um, mental health teams, positive or negative, do you, I mean, I know there's still some good people in there trying to do some good work, okay? Um, you know, to start a conversation below, let's have a, let's have a chat about this, let's be open and honest. Um, like I say, share it around, do you know what I mean? Because you never know, this might reach someone who has got some oomph, who, who might get listened to, do you know what I mean? And that would be amazing, um, you know? And if, if one person listens to this video and finds a different way of uh, helping themselves and their mental health, then I'm happy as pig and shit, mate, do you know what I mean? So um, get it out there, let's try and support each other, let's build this community and let's build knowledge around um, creating um, a more supportive country for our most vulnerable. All right, yeah, um, that was really difficult to do that video without effing and blinding and, and getting really irate and agitated with it because it does make my blood boil. Um, but, you know, this is about um, staying calm and putting topics across that I feel uh, and other people I, I know that I work with and, and, and know, believe, need to be heard. Okay, so there's no point in me standing here shouting at the camera because it doesn't get you anywhere, does it? All right, um, so yeah, please share it about. Um, if you've got more interest or more ideas of other topics or conversations you want to talk about, put it in the box, subscribe, uh, and share it around on your social media, okay? Um, I, I'm going to be making a few videos around mental health and well being and stuff over the next few weeks, all right? Okay, so take care, look after yourselves, uh, and look after each other, okay? Namaste.